taste of Tuscany in your mouth. Come to Florence, you'd be mistaken not to stop in for a steak. Your bistecca a la Fiorentina. Come to Italy and visit the Renaissance capital here on Florence. High on your list should be indulging in the culinary delights. There are several things that should be on your bucket list. Drinking Chianti wine, eating pasta with wild boar ragu, and what we're going to do today, diving deep into a thick, juicy steak. As you roam the streets here in Florence, you'll be looking for a place that sells what the locals call bistecca or bistecca alla fiorentina and i have a special treat for you today because i'm going to take you to one of the best known grills in town trattoria d'aloste and along the way i'm going to be trying to explain to you what is a bistecca alla fiorentina and why you should be putting it high on your list when you're here in town and what makes it so darn special and perhaps one of the best steaks in the world and this is it right here trattoria d'aloste in a side street just down from the Duomo. Now let's go eat. The Bisteca alla Fiorentina dates back to the time of the Medici family here in Florence. There are different rules about what makes a steak a Bisteca alla Fiorentina. We got the menu here. There are several different items in here, including pasta. There's fish as well. But when you come to a restaurant like this here in Florence, you got to get a slab of meat. It's time. Okay, of course we're getting the steak. Okay. Yeah, we want the canina bistecca alla Fiorentina. Chet. And so, this is Vieni. This is our waiter. Hello. He's true Italian. There we go, from Na Naples and Florence. So here we go. When you come to a Florence steakhouse, you don't ask for a steak well done. No, 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 well done, no, <laughs> no. well done. No, no. This is obviously very raw before it's cooked one month aged. Days. It's a canina, and a canina cow is these white cows. They're about white that. cow, yes. They're taller than you or I. Typical here of Tuscany. All right, bring it on. So the bistecca, this steak, it's a minimum three to four fingers thick, very thick, and it's brought to room temperature three to four hours before it's grilled. It's grilled on both sides twice. We're gonna get to go in the kitchen. Oh, there you just put it on the grill, drizzled some salt on it, very simple. How quante volte si gira la bistecca? So every side of the steak, they do it twice on the grill. So at the end they flip it on its side and we're gonna see that. And that way all the the fat and how long in total is it on the grill for? I think the fire alarm's going off. Four minutes over there on each side, on its side here, two minutes. And then the final trick is they put it in the oven, two minutes there. Wow, it's truly a treat to be able to come back into the kitchen of a steakhouse here in Florence and to see how all the magic happens. Our steak is it's coming, it's, it's grilling along fine. This is so much different than you do outside, an outside barbecue at home. These guys are professionals and you know it's gonna be grilled to perfection. Because I'm back in the kitchen, I get to order how I want my steak specifically down to the last second of cooking. So he asked me, how do I want it? I said, I want kind of a crusty edge to it. He's doing a special trick there on this hot iron there. Now you see it flipped on its side and soon it's gonna be in our mouth. I'm salivating. Oh, fame. <laughs> now this place is famous, you have to consider. So they get a lot of guests through here. They have like three or four locations in Florence. Here alone, he just told me they do 180 to 200 steaks a day in this kitchen. Whoa, what an experience. All right, we're down to it now. All right, we got it. He just poured the wine. We're getting into it. When you have steak, you gotta go red wine. Our uh, antipasti has arrived, and these are our starters. We got pulled cut, some cheese, some bread with some, here's the fegato. That's the liver. The bread's arriving. The steak is back there. It's coming along. So we're gonna warm up on these, get our stomachs ready for the big steak to come. These tomatoes taste so fresh. It's the perfect way to start and get ready. When you visit Italy, make sure you come with an empty stomach. Make sure you're coming ready to put on a lot of kilos, a lot of wine, a lot of cheeses, a lot of meat. But it's arrived. It looks a lot smaller, but this is 1.2 kilos of steak. This is the bistecca alla Fiorentina. And really the best way to describe this is without words, is to just eat the damn thing. It's moist, it's very delicate, it's soft. They put a little bit of salt on the top and that's it, that's all you need. You got some rosemary here on the side. 
they sliced it up. We saw the chef earlier there in the kitchen. This is the finest cow, the white beast in Tuscany. It doesn't get any bigger than this. This is the biggest cattle there is. This is the female cow. Now it's the best to get the female canina when you get the Bisteca alla Fiorentina. These cows are huge. They can weigh up to 1,000 kilograms or 1,800 kilograms in the case of the bull. This is a sort of paradise here. This just, it's raw, it's beef, and you can smell the grill, you can smell the seasoning. They slightly salted and that's it. And if you want to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on there, but you really don't need to. With a knife, you don't need it. You don't need a knife. You can just grab it with your teeth. It's so soft, so tender. They call this the king of steaks. I think maybe it is. Now sometimes because it's rare, it may be a lot to chew and the best thing I can offer, the best suggestion is just to wash it down with some wine. Buono, buonissimo as they say in Italian. You need to eat a steak, that's number one on your list in Florence. Ah, look at that. So we come here at <laughs> five o'clock this evening, we beat the crowd. As we've been here, this place has been filling up. This place is widely known because they market it well. So they're gonna get a lot of tourists in here, but they do well. This is modern steak cooking here in Florence. If you want something traditional, there are more traditional steak houses around Florence. And at the end of the video, stick with me because I'll explain where you can find those places. If you're enjoying this video, a like would be much appreciated. If you want to support me and all the videos I'm making, please click that super like down below. Your last bits. There's really only one thing to do, is just grab it, suck the meat off this T-bone here. Don't be afraid, this is precious meat, it's delicious. You get all the tender bits here next to the bone. This is what we worked our way to tonight. There's so much meat left on here. You're getting a value for this. I don't know what we're paying, but there's a lot of meat. Your bistecca a la Fiorentina. Uh, just to interrupt this video for one second to let you know about the Italy Insider e-guide that I put out so you can download it, have it in your pocket offline when you're traveling around this country. Everything you need to know about getting to and from Italy, hotels, Airbnbs, things like carrying cash and how you're gonna connect to the internet. There's a link to download it in the description below. Ragazzi, ciao. Ciao. These guys are so good. You gotta get down to this place. Stick with me, once we get outside, I'm gonna let you know how much everything costs, what you're gonna need to pay when you come to this place. Yeah. So I'm getting a new subscriber right now, and it was a reminder, if you haven't yet subscribed, please click the subscribe button down below. He's doing... <laughs> Grazie. Oh, look at these guys right here. What a feast. And when you get out here, you're right in the middle of downtown Florence. There are a few other places I recommend here in downtown Florence, in the center. That place there is kind of big on the marketing and they do a lot of marketing around the world. They're more modern. Well, I boiled it down to three different options for you. If you don't go to Trattoria dall'Oste, go to the more authentic place, the more down home cooking place here in the center of town called Trattoria Mario. It's a tight atmosphere. You may have to wait to get in there to get a table. And that's also a case for my second place over on the south side where I live. It's called Brindalone, full of locals. You won't get many tourists there, but you're gonna have a hard time getting a reservation. Oh, hey there, sorry to interrupt. Have you heard? I'm putting out a regular email newsletter with travel tips and hacks and other exclusive content such as videos that you may not find here on the YouTube channel. There's a link to join down in the description below. Oh, just look at the Christmas lights. They're up here. It's so beautiful here in Florence this time of year. The third option I would recommend is up on the north side of town, a little bit more off the beaten path. It's called Perseus, and that place is rich, full of colors. When you're setting down, you'll just feel embraced by warmth and you'll get a good steak. Now, what about the cost? What did I pay there for dinner at Trattoria Dall'Oste? Well, in total, for two people, with the steak of 1,200 grams, 1.2 kilograms, two antipasti, two appetizers, a bottle of red Chianti wine. In total, I paid 167 euro, which is a little bit more on the expensive side, but you have to consider you're eating one of the most prized meals when you come to Tuscany, La Bisteca Fiorentina, and you're in the center of town, in the center of Renaissance, the heart of Italy. 
so expect to pay these prices. I think it's a great price and a great place to spend the night just enjoying and getting a better understanding of what is the Bisteca a la Fiorentina. My